and his poor accuracy, and to be honest, we probably probably missed that one. Nope, it's going to hang on. And so we'll answer back with a field goal, uh, get a huge sack uh, that takes us, you know, out of, you know, out of plus territory. And after that, we pretty much were just playing for the field goal. We're going to have to get a stop on defense now uh, to keep that momentum from kind of snowballing. And Zeke right up the middle for six yards. We're going to get them to a second and four. just dragging flat routes that we're not able to get guys out there to cover. There we go. So we get the stop here. It's only going to be a loss of one, maybe two. But it's going to set us up in a second and 12 here. And this is really the first time that we've had him behind the sticks on the day. Um, and so hopefully we can hopefully we can make something happen off of this. There's nobody there. So far, just no answers. Um, I'm not even sure if we've gotten him to a third down yet. Holding him to a field goal here would be huge. Um, it would give us a chance. Just, I mean, it'd give us a chance just to answer back with a touchdown and be okay. Um, bring in Cooper across the formation. My spidey senses are telling me this is a run. And indeed it is. And we'll fill through the hole here. It's going to get to a third and goal. The first third down we've had him in on the day. Uh, but it's third and goal on the one yard line, which obviously isn't a great situation. Really would have been amazing if Redwine would have broke down on that and gotten us a pick six there. Um, could have really saved us, but it looks like he's going to kick the field goal, and you know that's a huge win for us. Um, he's moved the ball at will, 
And so getting the ball back only down a touchdown, that's a big win for us. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that purple vision of yours, Parker, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? All right, so we've got to have a drive here. Um, we've got to get points, preferably a touchdown. Um, let's see what we can do here. We'll take the check down underneath, pick up five. Gets us to a second and five. And two is going to find Dallas Goddard there. We're going to pick up the first down. Um, really need to get a running game going here. We've really struggled to run the ball so far. Uh, Great blocking here, and Gainwell is going to take this one to the house. Big touchdown there. We catch him in a cover zero blitz. Um, had the formation unbalanced and just good seal blocks, especially by Dallas Goddard downfield. And just like that, we're going to tie the game up and hopefully try to get a stop on this Dallas def or on this Dallas offense now. So beautiful blocking there. Uh, by Landon Dickerson and Lane Johnson on the right side and then Dallas Goddard downfield to spring Gainwell for the big touchdown run. And we have the game tied back up and in the stupidness that is how Madden works with momentum, uh, we are in a tie game, but Dallas already has momentum enabled in their favor. So we're going to have to fight against that a little bit as well. just nobody there like it so far it has not mattered what we call whether we blitz or not we don't get to the quarterback whether we play coverage or not there is nobody even remotely near his receivers uh, and I honestly have no idea what to do at this point to even try to slow him down It'd be nice if the game would stop rubber banding, too. Like, saw the play fake, and then my screen froze, and then he's catching it up the sideline. Good of a job on him. 
as they have on any runner in recent memory. Second and seven. Screen pass. We've got a linebacker that reads it somehow. Collins gets through those two blockers there. Have no idea why they didn't block him, and that's going to get us to a third and ten now. And so once again, they're going to march right down the field on us, but it looks like we're going to hold them to a field goal attempt. And so we will take it. Uh, the offense is going to have to continue to churn out points. And like we said, this game, if we were going to win it, um, it was going to be winning in a shootout because the Cowboys just have a lot of playmakers and a really good user in this league. So... He's the division favorite for a reason. Uh, it'd be great if we could steal one early in the season on the road. Just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. On second and nine, Tua flushed out right. And we're just going to scramble here with Tua, pick up a few yards, uh, get out of bounds. Didn't quite have the look that we wanted there. And that's going to bring us to a third and four. And then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive. Looks like we're going to be getting some pressure here on third down. Maybe even a cover zero look. Here's Tua. Indeed it is, and we're going to f and Gainwell drops the pass. He's wide open. We throw it to him. We possession catch, and we drop the pass. And you just you can't make those mistakes. And then we've got this moronic X factor in the game where my punter can only punt the ball 30 yards because we're playing in Dallas and they have a massive Jumbotron or something stupid like that. So, yeah, Jumbotron can only punt the ball 30 yards. That's awesome. Now we're in a huge hole. And we just got to get a stop here. We can't let them into the end zone. Minute 42 left to play. We get the ball after half, so if we can keep it to a one-score game, we've got to feel pretty good about it. And to be honest, we're just going to have to either get a fumble, an interception, or it's going to have to be a fumble, an interception, or we're just going to have to get let them get down there and then hold them to a field goal. We cannot stop them at all in the open field. Just don't have the horses on defense to do it. Yeah, 
to throw on second and ten. Prescott, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Five yards. And we could take a timeout here. Um, I think we're just going to let this clock run. Uh, if he settles for, you know, if he runs out of time to try to score here because he's running clock, you know, that's that's an ideal situation for us. So, and we miss the tackle because the game glitches out again in rubber bands. So, And of course, you can just throw it right at my safety and you'll catch it. We won't knock it down because why would we? You just throw, throw a post route directly, a seam route directly at a cover three safety and there's just no play to be made. It's DeAndre Hopkins, but it doesn't matter. Go make a play on the ball. So between Gainwell just dropping a pass for no reason, and, and then that that's a that's a huge swing for us. We're down ten now. Uh, we desperately need a field goal, but we're here. But we're fully aware that you know this is territory where it's really easy to screw up and throw a pick six like we did in week one. And so we've got to be careful, but we can't just walk this into half. We've got to. Make a play now. Yep, let's let's get strip sacked and then let's let two guys stand right there and not pick it up. God, this game is so bad. This game is so bad. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. No. Awesome. So it's it's just a sack because we didn't block. I even leave the tight end in on a delay block, and we don't even block. So we hit halftime down 20 to 10. Haven't even remotely slowed down the Cowboys offense. Um, they haven't had a third down before they hit the red zone yet this game. Uh, we've had a bad bad break with that gain will drop on third down. Um, other than that, the offense has been fine. We just have no defense, uh, no defense to be found anywhere. So. And now we're going to have to deal with this stupid momentum stuff where we can't even see our plays. Gainwell eats a hit stick there. And that's going to bring up a second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And there's a big play to Dallas Goddard. And just like that, we'll be down into Dallas territory. Hopefully that gets that shaky cam off of my screen. Like one of those guys. From the 
He's got man coverage again. Nobody keeping tabs on Tua, and so we'll scramble there. Get that first down as Tua picks up a first down here with his feet. Uh, he has been productive as a rusher, um, which isn't necessarily how we want to use him, but... Cut back lane there for Gainwell. He's going to pick up four yards. Gets us to a second and six. Finds Goddard in the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. And we will pull it back to within three. It's a good toe tap there by Dallas Goddard, finding that soft spot in the back of the end zone. And we answer back. But, again, we're just going to have to rely on our semi-shaky defense here. I would love for that ball to stop at the one-yard line. That would be hilarious uh, if that had stopped. Okay, what can we throw at him that we haven't tried out so far? I honestly, I, I don't know. I, I'm a little lost as to what to do here. Over pursue there with the linebacker. Um, he cuts that back inside, and I just missed my assignment there. We had that play strung out. I should have just filled my gap. But I mean, it's a hard flat, and the tight end catches it and gets hit immediately and breaks a tackle with his back to the guy. Nobody there. Like, it's just everyone is wide open. I mean, I guess at this point we can just go big time blitzes. Like, a good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. I'm not sure what to do. We can't seem to get a stop. So, and there, I mean, the guy's wide open. And now Fletcher Cox down. So I'm sure that's going to help our pass rush. I want to just go big pressure, but the only place we've stopped him is when we've gotten him into the red zone. So I don't want to give up a, you know, I don't want to give up a touchdown, uh, trying to cover zero blitz or something crazy. So we're going to get him into a third down here. This is in the vicinity of where we could get off the field without allowing any points uh, if we can just get a stop here. Pick that! Oh, I thought when he threw that ball, I was seeing a pick six. Did not get the break on it that we needed there by Holland, but he is going to rally and tackle. And it looks like we're going to get the ball back with the chance to take a lead for the first time this game. So that's a big stop. Man, I wish Holland would have made that break. 
that could have been a game changer for us. And so down six, uh, we're going to get the ball back here. And let's see if we can put together a drive. Oh, and we run into our own pulling guy there, or we probably could have got a few more yards, but we'll pick up four with Gainwell and get it to a second and six. Well, this is feeling like cover zero. But it's not. That's to his running back game well. And he gets this to the thirty five. Good for a game of five. Get it down to a third and one here. It's a huge third and one for us. Um, and it looks like we've got a guy deep. And Rager is going to stretch out and catch that. I thought we could have had a touchdown. He didn't separate quite down the road, so we had to go for the possession instead of the rat catch. But that is a huge play. going to get us down to the seven yard line it's going to bring up a third and three and we don't have time to get a playoff here before we end the third quarter so we're going to take it to the fourth with a huge third and three here um one quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a monday night we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Looking to pass. Tua. I was hoping my superstar lineman with a screen puller ability, I was kind of hoping he would get out there and actually block that guy. Fourth down now after a loss of two. So we'll come up short on our drive, but we will swap field goals back. And so we will throw our defense back out onto the field. And once again, we need a stop. Dallas has scored every time they've touched the ball this game. Um, desperately need to get a stop here. Oh, fumble! Ball is out! And we strip it, we get it. That is Williams with the scoop, and he is going to be out of bounds at the 19-yard line. G. Williams, I have no idea who that even is. No clue who that guy is that's on our team, uh, or why he's even in the game. That's not one of my starters. But that is a huge strip, and now we catch, honestly, what's one of our first breaks of the game. And we are going to have a chance to take the lead for the first time today with the ball on the 19-yard line. Monday night to wrap up the weekend football. Two division rivals 
Bills and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. And lose yardage here. There's a double team there. And we just don't block the linebacker. Okay, second and 11. Nobody in the box here, so we're going to take that look and run it. And even he's got one person lined up between our tackles, and we only get one yard on that play. That just blows me away that he is in such a light box there. Dang. And so once again, we're not gonna we're not gonna move the ball here. We're going to take the field goal. We will tie the game up. Not able to fully capitalize on the Ezekiel Elliott fumble, but we will tie the game. We will knock the momentum meter down, and so for the first time, we will be playing without momentum against us, uh, and the first time it's been tied. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is Greedy Williams. Um, I totally forgot. I just traded for him. And so, yeah, we made a big deal with the Browns. Um, we traded Steven Nelson and a second and third round pick for Greedy Williams. So in his first game, Greedy gets the scoop and almost score. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, the bad news, they had the turnover last time. The good news, their defense only surrendered three. So now we are set up for a great finish, all tied here in the fourth. Ah. Nobody home there to stop Dak. Um, we covered that shot, but... Okay, let's see here. Second and one. And now Elliott's going to pick up an easy first down there against our Brent, against our Fletcher Coxless defensive line. At least we're giving the fans a better show than the actual Monday night game did. So they'll pick up three yards here on first down. The clock continues to roll as we tick towards four minutes. Uh, he's going to go gun empty base flex. Oh, Greedy Williams almost with another huge play there. Uh, he is unable to come up with the interception, but he swats that ball away. Uh, what would, what could have been a touchdown if he doesn't make that play. And so uh, that is huge there. Uh, but Sheldrick Redwine, he releases that guy, and we almost get off the field there on third down. Once again, we are unable. Uh, to make the big stop when we need to. So got him to a third and 10, ultimately not able to get off of the field. Why is no one following X? Like, I literally called a cover four match coverage, and there's a receiver that just has nobody covering them. How does that happen? Like he literally runs entirely across the field and not one person on the defense matches him. All right, 331 left. And of course, 
we tie the game up, get all the momentum gone, and they score one touchdown, and now we're operating against full momentum against us again. And so Gainwell picks up a first down on his first play. He has 12 carries for 93 yards right now. I'm really confused as to why my center and my right guard just threw those guys off instead of actually blocking them. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the It's just ridiculous that I'm having to play with this. This momentum fully against me. Can't see my play art in a game that's so close. On second and nine, two. Two is going to roll out. He's going to scramble. We'll pick up a few yards and gets us to a third and five. So third and five here. Uh, desperately got to get a first down to keep this drive alive. And we've got Dallas Goddard, and he will pick up the first down. And that's going to take it to the two-minute warning. Like, I'm telling you right now, the way we've played defense in this game, if we score a touchdown, uh, this is probably we're probably going for two. We got to get the touchdown first, and of course, it's always a little scary uh, going for two with a game on the line. Red zone is really hard, uh, but we've just done such a poor job getting stops. I can't really imagine us um, wanting to take this into overtime. So. so Quez Watkins there is going to get us down to the 40. Second and two. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's Tua. Flushed out right. And ooh, weird little throwing animation there. It's not what I was looking for. Um, After the incompletion here now, third and two. All right, huge conversion opportunity here. And Gainwell is going to pick it up, and we'll take a timeout here with a minute 20 left in the game. him had Devonta Smith but a little bit of an overthrow it's gonna get us to a second down and ten I, I just don't understand who we're blocking in this situation. That's another light box. There's nobody there. I just don't really get that. And we don't throw the ball away. We'll get strip sacked. That's going to be the game. At least he's going to run a play. You know, maybe it gives us a chance for a strip set. But, I mean, that's that's three guys rushing against my five, and we shed the superstar lineman. I just... Well, 
We whiff on that hit stick. Come on, keep running plays. Ah, he's going to kneel it. Smart call. Uh, good game to our opponent. Just could not get a stop all game long. We're going to call our timeout just to see if he'll run a play. I'm sure he won't. Yeah, he's going to kneel it out. So, overall, you know, thought we played pretty well on offense. Could not get a stop to save our life on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and it comes down to, you know, two possessions we didn't score. We have the Kenny Gainwell third down drop, and then we have that strip sack here at the end of the game. Um, we only stopped him one time. It was when we stripped Zeke. Uh, other than that, yeah, he never punted the ball to us. And so that's a tough loss. Uh, I feel good about how the offense played. We're going to have to figure some things out on defense. Losing Fletcher Cox certainly hurts, um, and hopefully he's not out long. And then beyond that, we just don't have a very good secondary. Uh, we've made some moves here. we got Greedy Williams in, uh, and we're going to try to develop some guys. But it's definitely going to take us some time. So good game to our opponent. He moves on to 3-0. and We're going to drop to 1-2. and as we get ready to face the Kansas City Chiefs in week four. Uh, another pretty good user in the league, and so uh, it will be a uphill battle for us to get back to 500. So we'll take a look at the stats here. Um, I'll show you Greedy Williams' player card, and then we'll get out of here. Next week, as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they'll fall to one and two, and they'll get a home date next If it stops panning around the stadium. any year now there we go so team stats we get out gained by a hundred yards uh, we rushed the ball well we didn't throw for a lot of yards but we were efficient um, the turnover you know if we hadn't turned that ball over there maybe we've got a chance 50% um, on third downs we're three of three scoring in the red zone uh, but two of those were field goals, so we've got to get better uh, in the red zone at putting the ball in the end zone. Tua ends the day 13 of 17 for 190 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Serviceable day from him. Gainwell goes 15 carries for 104 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Tua has three carries for 24 yards with that fumble at the end. Dallas Goddard, 82 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Gainwell has 45 yards and then Rager and Watkins each contribute two catches blocking uh, this kills you I mean we got superstar guys on our line and Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson they both give up sacks defensively our tackle leader is Javon Holland uh, Zaven Collins gets two tackles for loss we get no sacks no interceptions uh, we have the pass deflection from Greedy Williams that if we could have got an interception there, that could have been a game changer. Avante Maddox with the forced fumble and Williams with the recovery. The Cowboys go 20 of 23 passing for 312 yards and two touchdowns. Again, just it didn't really matter what we called. He just diced us up. We couldn't cover everybody. Uh, against the running, rushing attack, we did a pretty good job. Um, held them. To 62 yards with Zeke, 8 yards with Pollard. We will take that, but we just could not slow down his passing game uh, as both Hopkins and Cooper go over 100 yards. Hopkins has two touchdowns, and we don't log a sack for the day. So, Good game. Well-fought game. Um, we just fall a little short this time, and so uh, hopefully the next time around uh, we'll have their number when we play in Philly, and maybe we don't have to deal with those momentum boosts all game. Uh, Landon Dickerson here gets a pass, uh, player upgrade. We'll invest that into his pass protection, and we get plus two pass finesse. Uh, offensive linemen are so hard to build. They get so few points. Uh, let's go check Fletcher Cox's injury. And it looks like the dislocated shoulder, he's not going to miss extended time. He will be back next week for the Chiefs game, so that's great news for us. Uh, and then let's just go take a look at 
Greedy Williams player card, the new addition to the squad. He's currently our CB2. Uh, he's 23 years old. He's star dev. It takes him just a little under 7,000 XP uh, to get a skill point. And he has 93 speed, uh, 73 zone coverage. It's down to 72 because of morale right now. Uh, he has the undisciplined penalty trait, which is something for us to keep an eye on. He can draw those pass interference calls. Um, and so hopefully we don't see that. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, I'm hoping Maddox and w Williams can be a solid CB pairing for us. And hopefully, you know, we can add somebody in the off season too. Uh, our draft picks now we're down to, we've got the two first rounders, the Indy and Miami, and then we have one pick in every round, uh, with an additional fifth rounder. So a lot of draft capital, um, as we look to kind of build this team. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're watching live on Twitch, uh, appreciate the views. If you're watching on YouTube later, drop a comment down below uh, and let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you next time.